We'll cut off on that last video, but I want to show you just a few other things. Um, here's what we're playing with right here is this gallery, and it looks like this right now. I wanted to invite you to take a peek at, this is the link that we actually included um, here, learn more. So this um, W3 Schools Chat About Flexbox is a very short tutorial to go through and quite worth it. I just want to show you some of the features. This is pretty much telling you what I've taught you already. Flex Direction, Flex Wrap. I haven't taught you Flex Flow, but that's a shortcut for Flex Direction and Flex Wrap. Um, I taught you Justify Content. I didn't teach you Align Items or Align Content. These are all things that are worth looking into if you think you'll use Flexbox. Um, as I had mentioned before, you could change the flex direction to column, to column reverse, to row, and to row reverse. There's row, and there's row reverse. Let's just look at it. Let's look at what that looks like. Right now I have row, and it looks like this. If I were to type, let's make these a little smaller so you can just see what happens. If I were to type row reverse, watch this jump over to that side. So now it's just the opposite in rows. And if I type column, you will only see one column, I believe, if I remember. Yeah. And it will go all the way down the whole website. And if I did column reverse, you would see it from the bottom up. Um, there's also some spacing you can do. Let me turn this back to row. Um, you could do, instead of justify content, you can choose, I think, space around, space between, or space evenly. So there's a lot of options here. There's space around, let me save it. And it puts space between each uh, column. And you can see here it's that amount of space sort of changes as it flexes because you can't see a half a photo. So that's the way it's doing. Um, if I did space between, I don't think there's a big difference. Save. Yeah, it puts a little more. Oh, it brings those images right to the edge. Um, I could also give this gallery a specific width, but... I think what I'll do is go back to center because I like that best and then encourage you if you want to to jump over here on W3 Schools and read a little bit about Flex and have some fun with it.